I bet you've seen the buzz in the media over the years about the wonders of the Mediterranean diet and how it'll solve all your health problems and solve all your weight problems and just like change your life because it's so amazing. And even in the scientific community, people think that the Mediterranean diet is like the best thing ever just because it's better than the Western diet. But the Western diet with all of its meat and McDonald's and fast food and crap sets a really, really low bar. So the fact that the Mediterranean diet is better than the Western diet doesn't actually tell us much about how good the Mediterranean diet is. It just tells us that it's not total crap. <laughs> but thankfully, a new study just came out that directly compares the Mediterranean diet to a vegan diet for health and weight loss, especially. And so in today's video, I'm gonna go over the results of that study because it's super cool and you can use it as a comeback for anyone who talks about how the Mediterranean diet is the best thing ever. Hey there, I'm Mish, and I am a PhD candidate sharing scientific studies like this one to help you reach your health, weight loss, fitness, and nutrition goals. For a very brief bit of hilarious background on this, there are several studies that have found that switching to a Mediterranean diet causes weight loss, but interestingly, those studies also made participants restrict their calories and or exercise more. So if you make people eat less and exercise more, and they lose weight, do you really know that it's because of the Mediterranean diet? No, you cannot. <laughs> That's a basic scientific principle. You can't change a bunch of things and then pick which one you hope caused the effect. So this study I'm about to share with you did it right where they had no calorie restrictions, no instructions to eat less or exercise more. In fact, they told participants to eat as much as they wanted, just as usual, and specifically told them not to change their exercise habits. And this was a really well done study where they had 62 participants in a crossover design as it's called. So they had all the participants do one diet for 16 weeks and then had a four week washout period where they just ate their normal diets and then switched to the other diet for another 16 weeks. So for half the people, they had a vegan diet for 16 weeks, normal diet, whatever they wanted for four weeks, and then the Mediterranean diet for 16 weeks and the other half of people did the opposite order. So Mediterranean, normal, vegan. And for the Mediterranean diet, they told them to increase some foods, eat as much as they wanted of other foods, and decrease or limit other foods. People in the Mediterranean diet were told to eat more fruits, veggies, legumes, fish, olive oil, and were told to not eat um, processed snacks, fatty cheeses, red meat, um, a bunch of other like fatty foods like margarine, butter, cream, that kind of stuff. I'll read the list a little bit to make sure I don't forget anything. So they were told to eat as much as they wanted of low fat cheese, eggs, chocolate, and whole grains, and to eat less sweetened beverages, processed meats, fatty cheeses, pastries. And people on the vegan diet were told to avoid animal products, of course, as well as added fats. So they were instructed to focus their eating on fruits, vegetables, grains, and legumes. And the researchers aimed to get people on the vegan diet to eat 75% carbs, 15% protein, and 10% fat. But in reality, the participants while eating the vegan diet ended up having closer to 20% fat. And just as a reminder, participants were told to eat as much as they wanted and to not try to diet, not try to lose weight, not change their exercise habits or anything like that. So the only thing that changed was what types of foods people were eating. And first, what the researchers looked at was how people's calorie intake changed just naturally as a result of changing what types of food they ate. And they found that on the Mediterranean diet, there was no change in how many calories they ate per day compared to their regular diet. But on the vegan diet, people naturally reduced their intake by 500 calories a day. So just from eating all these healthy vegetable, fruit, grain, and legume-based meals, people just automatically wanted to eat less, such that they were at a massive calorie deficit, and they didn't even notice it. It was just happening in the background, just from them switching to a low-ish fat vegan diet. And now for the result you probably came here for, when people were eating that vegan diet over the course of 16 weeks, they lost 13 pounds on average, and they actually looked at where that weight came from, like whether it was water or muscle or fat, and they found that most of it was from body fat. So just from switching to a lowish fat vegan diet, they lost 13 pounds in 16 weeks. On the Mediterranean diet, on the other hand, they lost nothing. So even though the media loves to tell you how much you'll lose by going on a Mediterranean diet and eating lots of dead fish and adding lots of oil to your food, looks like it's actually not gonna help you very much. 
unless you decide to restrict your calories and exercise more, in which case you could lose weight on any diet. And for some more details on why people on the vegan diet lost so much, the researchers found that weight loss was really correlated with how much people's saturated fat intake changed. So if someone was eating a lot of animal products before they went vegan, then they lost a lot of weight because just that reduction in saturated fat intake from eating a lot of meat and cheese to eating no meat and cheese led to more weight loss in those people. So if you currently eat a lot of animal products, then you probably have a lot of weight to lose from going vegan. And interestingly, participants didn't all stick to the vegan diet. So about 80% reported completely avoiding all animal products, which makes sense. Like when you first go vegan, you won't always just be able to do it cold turkey. So some of the participants ate animal products very rarely. So even though only 80% of people were able to purely stick to a vegan diet from day one to the end of week 16, 93% of people on the vegan diet lost weight. So even the people who didn't do it perfectly still lost weight. And you might be thinking, well, like, these people aren't going to stick to a vegan diet long term, like it's too hard to do, the Mediterranean diet is way easier. But they actually found that more people dropped out of the study during the Mediterranean diet than during the vegan diet. So more people were able to stick to the vegan diet than the Mediterranean diet for this voluntary study. And another funny tidbit from this study is that when people were on the vegan diet first and then were switched to the Mediterranean diet, they actually gained weight on the Mediterranean diet. And this is a little surprising to me that people didn't lose like a little bit of weight on the Mediterranean diet because it is cutting out like a lot of stuff that people think is causing all our weight gain. Like it cuts out um, processed snacks and a lot of processed foods. It cuts out sweetened drinks. It cuts out fatty cheeses and red meat, but people still didn't really lose weight. Or actually, sorry, they didn't lose weight at all. <laughs> and actually a past study on the Mediterranean diet found that the only part of it that actually protected from weight gain was people eating less meat. So people on a Mediterranean diet who ate the least meat lost the most weight, whereas people who still ate quite a bit of meat but otherwise had a Mediterranean diet gained weight. So it seems like the part of the Mediterranean diet that's so great for you and so great for weight loss is actually the reduction of meat eating, which a vegan diet will do much more efficiently and much more effectively. There you have it. A vegan diet has been shown to beat out a Mediterranean diet for weight loss. So if you have any friends or loved ones who are trying a Mediterranean diet for weight loss, it might be worth sending them this study or sharing this video. I hope you found this study as cool as I did. And if you liked the video, please, please like and share. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button below and hit that notification bell if you want to stay up to date on my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.